Now, there isn't really much to this tutorial. However, I thought I would go over it because I wanted to clear it up for some people. Um, it is texturing with a alpha channel. Now, if you don't know what an alpha channel is, it is a image with transparency. Uh, I think that's the easiest way to sum it up. Okay, I'm going to make a plane actually. It's probably going to be the best thing to show this. Hit 5 to show it shaded, W to get the move tool, lift that up. And I'm also going to create a square and a polygonal sphere. Beautiful. Now I want my alpha channeled image. Now, how do I go about doing this? Well, the way we're going to do it is we're going to create an alpha channel image in Photoshop. This tutorial won't be under Photoshop I don't think because it doesn't really go over any Photoshop any necessary Photoshop techniques my computer is multitasking like a like a machine so if I close that down it should speed things up now I'm using my lovely new monitor which is a joy to work with I've just got so much desk space it's, it's beautiful okay right file new we'll just create whatever I had last time call it alpha image now what you want to make do make sure is that your background is nothing. So if I double click that layer, make it a layer rather than a background, and I can actually should be able to rub that layer out. If I grab the rubber and I'm sure you guys are aware that checkered white and grey squares generally means it's transparent. Beautiful. Now I'm just going to do a simple little thing. I'm going to draw some lines. In fact, we can even write Dan. Well, I'm a genius. And as you can see, this is over a transparent background. I'm going to go File, Save as. And you can just save it as a Photoshop or you can save it as a PNG. Um, um, I'm going to call it alpha image and OK. Now PNGs will be much faster to work with in Maya, so I'm going to go Command Shift S and that will sh save as rather than save. And we're going to go PNG, alpha image PNG, OK. Beautiful. Back in Maya, let's go to our hypershade grid view ah ah what is he doing and he wants to add a fong why a fong because no one knows what a fong is click on the checkered square next to the color and we're going to load a file the image name We saved it in our pictures, but we know it is called Alpha Image. So if we just use our Finder Spotlight, oh, that is not how you spell image. Dot PNG. That is what we called it, isn't it? I spelled that wrong. Don't think so. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way, guys. Go to pictures, and where is our alpha image PNG? Beautiful. And then 
our funny one, we can select our plane. I've covered this before. Right click, assign material to selection, and key number. Got a word. And the, there we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Look. Wow. That looks cool. We've now got what I just did in Photoshop a second ago in 3D, and it looks pretty cool. In fact, here's why May is better on the Mac because of this button right here. Click that. Bosh. You have to do all this hiding menu stuff in um, Windows. And if I'm wrong, shh. Look at that. Oh, look. It's actually giving me the option to write. Wow, look at that. Because it's like a transparent background, I can add to this apparently. Don't know. What I press to allow me to add to it, but I'm now drawing 3D lines. This could be like one of them Channel 4 adverts where, like, it doesn't actually say anything until you line it up. So, like, I could write Dan, you. Like that, and then it could be like a commercial where it just looks that looks like a load of scribbledy gobbledygook. And then Daniel could have known it would actually spell something. No one is the answer, and this is all of them lines, so they're our individual object. Check that. This is what well, you have to use this. Check that. Now it really won't. Like, bar to scale. Like that. And now, check that. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Daniel. See? Wow, look how much we have just learned in one tutorial. Um, and that is basically doing alpha channels in Maya. Um, now, it's no different to a texturing a non alpha channel image, but um, read lots of confusion about this and I just wanted to clarify that it is this simple but you need to make sure that your background is transparent and the best format is either Photoshop or PNG. I would use PNG because it's much, much faster to load. Um, I'm Dan Allen, Dan on a Bouncy Castle. Rate, comment and subscribe um, and thank you for watching. Now I've got to try and stop this. I've got to click off and stop recording.